hey everyone thank you for joining me today in this tutorial i will show you how to draw hyper realistic eye and this tutorial is for anyone who is a complete beginner i will tell you all the basics in it so let's get started with the material first 2h hp 2b 4b 6b pencil a soft paintbrush and blending stump for blending pencil eraser for highlighting i will provide link to all the materials in the description below let's start with the basics first the round portion of the eye is called eyeball and the most beautiful colored portion of the eye is called iris it is covered by a transparent film which appears as a white reflection in the eye and it is called cornea In the inner corner of the eyelid there is tear gland and the central black portion of the eye is pupil. Pupil regulates the amount of light entering into the eye by changing its size. It will get wide in a dark room to capture more light in the small and a bright room. With this information choose the appropriate size for the pupil by considering the environment for your drawing. First we start by making the basic shape of eyeball which is circle. Um, don't worry if you can't make a perfect circle or it looks like oval or something. I will tell you a practice by which you will be able to make a perfect circle in my some other video but for now just try to make a circle this circle is only a guideline to draw the basic proportion so you really don't have to worry about its perfect shape then draw a horizontal and vertical line in front view iris appear as perfect circle and will be placed in the center of the eyeball Pupil will be placed in the center of the iris and its size will define the amount of light entering in the eye. The cornea appear as highlighted portion in a convex form. In this case, light is coming from the top, so cornea will appear in upper right corner of eye. Eyelids wrap around the iris and will be in the boundaries of circle. I will draw a curved line from edges and one or both eyelids usually overlap the iris. However, it depends on the expression of the eye we want to draw. Take your time and be patient while drawing eyelids, you just have to draw curved lines by closely observing the reference. Now to make it look 3D, we will add some folds above and under the eye following the shape of the eyeball.
for shading, I will use HP Auto H pencil to create lightest layer of the iris and then will blend with a soft paintbrush. Then I will use 4 pencil to create more darker values. Then I will blend it all with the blending stump to create a smooth shading in the iris. I am adding more layer of shadows by closely observing the reference by using 4B pencil. After I'm done with the shadows, I will use 6P or 8P pencil to fill the pupil. Be careful while shading pupils since it will be really hard to erase. With the same 6P pencil, I am adding more shadows under the eyelid and in the corner of the iris. I will continue to darken the areas of shadows until I am satisfied with my drawing and will continue to blend it with soft paintbrush and in the last with the blending stone.
Then I will add the structural spokes with HP pencil. Every eye is different in structure, so look at the reference carefully to draw the right composition. The structural spokes are drawn from the center of the pupil and also from the edges of the iris towards the pupil. Now I will add highlights with a pencil eraser or you can use any normal eraser with the sharp edges to make the highlights. The edges of the iris is not completely black, it's blurred and you can use blending stump to blur the edges of the iris and to make its shadow in the sclera portion. I actually like to observe eye a lot uh, so whenever I see myself in a mirror I would look deep into the eye to understand its form and composition and it really helps so I would suggest you to see yourself in a mirror and look deep into the eye to understand its form and composition <laughs> 
it's funny though but it really helps so i would suggest you to really observe i whenever you look at someone or maybe see yourself in a mirror it's beautiful to understand its composition and it would really help after iris we'll start shading the eyeball um, the sclera of the eye is not completely white, so using 2 edge pencil, add some light shading to create roundness. The tear gland also has rounded shape, so we need to add some shadow in this area also.
Now to create the skin, add some light shading using HP pencil and blend it with a brush. I am here using cross hatching technique to create a skin. It's wonderful to create a skin and its wrinkles. And also never use blending stump for the skin. Use always a soft paint brush. Actually I like to use brush to create skin since it does not make the uh, strokes go away and it really helps in creating those little tiny wrinkles in the skin. In the cross hatching technique you have to make strokes in one direction first and to create the first layer and to create second layer you have to make strokes in the other direction and then blend it with a soft paintbrush. Again, to create the illusion of 3D form, you have to pay attention to where light is coming and darken the areas where there is shadow in the reference. 